Hello and welcome to another episode of Feel for Koka. I'm Sam and this is... Hey, my name is Nita. And today we are in Kumamoto City in the Kumamoto Prefecture. And in front of Kumamoto Station, there's a small Kumamon there too. Yes, and today our plan is to check out all the sights and sounds and everything that Kumamoto City has to offer for tourists and visitors alike. So I look forward to it. Yes, let's go. I'm so yeah, excited. Yes, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just go, so... From Hakata Station to Kumamoto Station, it takes about 40 minutes by bullet train. There is also an airport bus from Kumamoto Airport to Kumamoto Station. Kumamoto City is one of the biggest cities in Kyushu. Because of its accessibility, you can go many places without a car. A symbol of Kumamoto City is the Ginkgo tree and you can see streets lined with beautiful ginkgo trees around the end of November to the beginning of December. Wow, it's, it's kind beautiful! Of like a romantic comedy movie set. Yeah, but this is so relaxing, you know, it's so beautiful. You can rent a kimono and walk around the city. Suizenji Jojuen is a Japanese garden that was built around 400 years ago. Hey! Red gates. I really like this. This is very Japanese. This is very Japanese. Oh, very much. I prayed for a, a happy and healthy future. Oh, that's great. Yeah, this is so serene. It's so nice to be in here. There's a, it's like a picture frame. You look through the window. Oh yeah, that's very beautiful. Inside the garden, there's a tea house where you can have some matcha green tea. Hmm, relaxing. Good. Today we're going to try Kumamoto Ramen. Wow, look at this delicious. Kumamoto Ramen is a noodle in pork bone broth soup. Specialties of Kumamoto Ramen are garlic chips, fried garlic oil and thick noodles. Looks Good. so big. Arigatouzaimasu. Yeah. Wow. Oh, black ramen. Actually, this is my first time to tasting this. Mm. Wow, it's Try. delicious. Are you even good at slurping? Mmm, really tasty. Mmm, it's good. I'm gonna try and put some extra garlic in. Mmm, I love the garlic too. No kissing today. <laughs> You're doing it well. Josa Inn is a tourism attraction that was designed with the appeal of the old castle town and it's located in Sakura no Baba. In Josa Inn, there are 23 restaurants, cafes and stores all related to Kumamoto. What's this? You can taste wine! Ah, uh, cheers. Oh, shit. this is good. Oh, shit. Wow, interesting. Souvenirs of Kumamoto. This is cute. Shop so, like... You're gonna take that home with you? <laughs> Buy this for me, okay? But this is hand great. Yeah, handmade. Yeah. Nice. It's all again. Gold engraving, 400 year history. Wow. <laughs> In Waku Wakuza, you can experience and learn about the history of Kumamoto. I'm a samurai. Oh. <laughs> You can carry them. You feel like royalty. Oh yeah, I go in here, see? There's a yeah. spot for me. Excuse me, we've had some complaints about it being a bit heavy. <laughs> there is also a 3D movie about Kumamoto Castle. Kumamoto Castle is a symbol of Kumamoto and it's one of the three great castles in Japan. Unfortunately, many parts of the castle got damaged by an earthquake back in 2016 and it's still being restored. You can see how the restoration is getting on when you visit the castle. 
Look at it. Wow. But you know, it's good to come here, take pictures for your memory, and come again when it's rebuilt, and then you can compare. Yeah. Wow, they are cool. now repairing it, but yeah. you know, it, it looks like they're getting work done. Kumamoto people, like, they're putting so much effort to well, like rebuild. Trying. Everyone is supporting it. Yeah, yeah, they're all supporting it. Well, they're very proud of their castle. I really can't wait to see the completed castle because, you know, it's renewed and very beautiful. So definitely I will come here. Miyamoto Musashi was known as the strongest swordsman in Japan. In Kumamoto City, there is a cave where he wrote his book, Golden no Sho, the Book of Five Rings. The book is about his techniques of martial arts and philosophy. Oh, wow! Oh, cool. How beautiful. It's mysterious. Oh, yeah. All their faces are different. They're not all the same. They all have different expressions and different features. Mm. They're all individually carved. Imagine how long it would take oh. to make all these. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the cave? Hey, really? Can we go inside? Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Look at this shrine inside here. They've just built it in here. It's great. It feels powerful here. Yeah. Although even I would like to spend more time here. Like, I mean, this very nice place. You could s sit in here for a while, meditate and be quiet and you'd feel energized and powered. He went like this and then he sat here and then he was like, oh yeah. That's pretty amazing. That's dedication. Oh yeah, I do think so. There is a huge arcade in downtown Kumamoto City. When you walk through this arcade, you will find many cafes, restaurants and stores. And it's always crowded both day and night. I feel like I'm abroad right now. I don't feel like I'm in... You know, this doesn't feel, really feel like Japan, right? If you walk into the alleyways, you can discover many boutique stores. I think we're going to this Izakaya here. Oh, this one? Oh, look at that. We're welcome. Hey. Come find more. So I see. Door. Oh. It's so tender. It's good. Mm. Mm. Rare horse meat. Mmm, so tasty. Mmm. Really? Yummy. I'm gonna try one of these. Guru Guru. Oh, it's yummy. Oh, it's so crumb, Jack. I'm here. <laughs> it's good, right? Uh, that's a uh, lotus root with mustard. Ah, the mustard's on the inside. Mmm. It's a bit spicy, but it's yummy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we're in Kumamoto. Nice. I have decided. I'm bringing my family here when they come to Japan next. Okay. Yeah. Definitely me too. I'll oh, junk, junk in bowl for that last okay. one. Okay. Say good. Junk in bowl. Yes, I will. Oh. <laughs> See you later. Well, unfortunately, our day trip to Kumamoto City has come to an end. It's been a great day out. We've seen lots of great places, eating great food. What was your favorite? Definitely my favorite was the cave where Musashi was writing his book and Kuma Bar. Oh yeah, Kuma Bar was nice, they yeah. were great. My favorite was actually the Japanese garden where we dressed up in a kimono and got to walk around yeah. for the day and it was such a serene and pleasant experience. And even just walking around the city, checking out you know, the arcades or going down the side streets, there's lots of you know, oshare, fashionable cafes and restaurants. So yeah, I highly recommend coming here to visit Kumamoto City. So yeah, anyhow, unfortunately we have to go home. So I'm Sam signing off from Feel for Conquer and this is my sidekick. Nita, see you, okay? See you soon. Bye. Ciao.